All right guys, welcome back to Living Our American Dream. So what we're gonna do today, build a DVD cabinet. Uh, let's go take a look at the material list. Okay, so let's take a peek at some of the material we're gonna be using. I went to the home store, the home improvement store last night and got some of this stuff. The base part of the cabinet is gonna be built out of red oak faced three quarter inch plywood. And I have a four by eight sheet of that right here on the bottom. The back part, since I don't have to really structurally do anything with the back of the cabinet, it's going to be quarter inch of the same material. This is an AC, what I call an AC uh, piece of plywood, so it has an A grade side and a C grade side. The bottom side of this, I won't show you right now, but the bottom side of this uh, is not uh, red oak faced. Um, next, I bought some also red oak um, pieces of, let me just show here. This uh, one by three by six foot, this is a pre-cut, pre-packaged piece of oak. Uh, of course, we've got us some, some wood glue. And to put this all together, we're gonna be using a Craig jig. And anybody looking at this video is gonna look at this Craig jig and say, holy crap, where did he get that thing? Uh, this is an old one. And to go along with these, um, obviously I have all of the appropriate drivers and drills. This is an inch and a quarter. And I don't know if Mike's got this zoom in quite right, but this is a coarse thread screw. is a fine thread, and I'll put them right next to each other. I hope you can see the difference in this video. Uh, this one on this side is a fine thread, which would be used for basically hardwoods. A couple last pieces of tools that we use. A couple of custom Craig uh, clamps, actually. But essentially, what we want to do is we want to end up with a... Like I said, about a 32 inch tall, maybe 34 by six feet wide. Uh, this may be not drawn to scale, but we're gonna want um, two intermediate shelves in this thing. And again, roughly six feet wide, and then DVDs can be stacked in here. And the, in, the, the vertical support in the center will be uh, kind of where the two inner doors are gonna attach to, which is why we need that there. Um, but then this thing is gonna look Gonna go back up against the wall. Let me try to draw this in 3D a little bit. Do my best, right? So the top will kind of go back this way and uh, uh, go against the wall. What I want this thing to look like is the top board will actually stick like this, and then we'll come down. So the depth of the cabinet itself, uh, this dimension here from the wall to the front will be roughly 12 inches. Um, to make the best use out of our board. And then this dimension here will be probably around eight inches because a DVD, I mean, you only need probably five inches to store a DVD, and that's really all that's gonna be stored in this cabinet. Maybe a few small books, um, but it's gonna be, the majority is gonna be DVDs. So the reason for leaving this away from the wall, I'm also going to cut a hole in the top of this. So, our DVD player, um, speakers, uh, the television itself, any cables that are up here can go through this hole, plug into the back side of this thing, and it'll all be hidden um, from the front. Now this, this actually is drawn a little bit wrong. I drew it this way because I wanted you to see what this ledge would look like, but this side panel will also be the full uh, 12 inches. You know, I'm gonna have basically uh, some shelves in here that are going to look like, you know, I'm not drawing these totally great, but um, your bottom piece, I flip this up here, your bottom piece is going to be this piece right here, and then your shelves, you know, this will be a shelf, this will be a shelf, and then these voids right here, um, I will put my face frames will go uh, one across the top, one across each shelf, and then two verticals on the sides. Okay, so I've drawn up the concept here. The overall dimensions of this DVD cabinet are gonna be 71 inches wide because that's what allows me to utilize my entire board and 35 inches tall based on a measurement in the living room where the television currently is at. Um, this is how I laid out my 
four by eight sheet of wood. It's kind of what the face frames are all gonna look like. Um, I have not put dimensions to that yet because um, I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, more interested in these numbers here. Um, as you can see, the two shelves and the bottom are the same dimensions. And we're gonna go set up the table saw and see if we can cut these things out. All right, we've got the table saw set up here. And the first cut, I wanna leave that 71 inches. Uh, so 96 minus 71 is 25. But remember, when you're cutting to an exact dimension, you always want to account for the width of the blade. In this case, this blade is an eighth of an inch wide. So I need to set my fence at 27 and 7 eighths. So I've come over here and I've set my fence, uh, not 27, 24 and 7 eighths. And just to double check that, I took the tape measure and let me go grab it here and I'll show you what I did. For the tape measure, we want to measure from the side of the fence down to the side of the tooth that's going to do the cutting. Uh, and these teeth are offset. Uh, one angle's one way and the other angle's the other way. So you want to make sure you're measuring on the right tooth and out to the edge of the tooth. And as you can see, um, the right side is 24 and 7 eighths and the left side is 25. So that means I'm going to get rid of 25 inches off of this end of this 4x8 sheet of wood. The piece that I'm going to be left with on the right side here is 24 and 7 eighths. The piece that I'm going to be left with on the other side is my 71. Let's see if we can cut this. Now we should be left with a 71 inch long piece. Just draw a tape measure through here and check. And it looks like we are right on 71, just like we want. So that looks good. All right, now we're gonna make this cut right here. So I've measured the piece is supposed to be 34 and a quarter. So I take 48, which is the width of the piece, minus 34 and a quarter. 13 and three quarters have to account for the blade Gives me 13 and 5 8 setting for my fence of my saw. All right, next we're going to cut the sides and the top, which were exactly 12. So now we should be able to cut our two sides. Now remember, this was uh, 20, almost 25 inches, so I am gonna have to cut both pieces. So I'll make a cut, and then I'll uh, grab the part there, and I'll make a second cut, and I should be left with about 3 quarters of an inch here. Now always remember to keep your hands out of the way of the saw. I always put the guard down whenever I can, and I'm not gonna grab that piece until this saw winds down. Um, always remember safety first. I like to keep all 10 of these digits, and I'm sure you guys would too. All right, and now for the top.
Okay, so we've cut out these two sides. We've cut out the top. We've cut out our extra piece. So what we have left is this rectangle right here with the two shelves in the bottom. And now we'll cut the two shelves and the bottom. Okay, so this was part one of the DVD cabinet video. I've got all the pieces cut. You can see them behind me here. Two shelves, a bottom, a top, and two sides. And in the next video, uh, I will start putting this in together using our Craig Jig pocket hole jig. So enjoy the video, make sure you watch the next one. I think this is gonna turn into a three-part video. Thanks for watching.